the infamous condition known as writers. Glock has been an issue for even the masters of the craft this is why writers often have certain routines and rituals to get their creative juices flowing. While this obstacle is associated as being exclusive to writers we can all relate to the feeling of being stuck in our work. Sometimes a task comes along that we just can't find the answers for we procrastinate and ultimately become much less productive because of this block we're facing. The following contains the work habits well-known writers use to break through. Creative barriers improve workflow and produce high-quality material. Stephen King Stephen King Notorious for his fast-paced output of work King has published over 50 novels in his career and has sold as many as 350 million copies worldwide due to the fear of overwhelming his audience with too many books he even started writing under the pen name Richard Bachman. When confronted on his secret King confessed I try to get six pages a day. When I'm working I work every day three, four hours and I try to get those six pages by making the daily commitment of steady progress and rarely allowing himself to falter. King is able to produce large amounts of work in a short frame of time. He also credits his creativity to his routine he sits down at his desk at the same time every morning drinks tea and listens to music. The arrangement of his workspace remains unchanged with nothing out of place. The cumulative purpose of doing these things the same way every day seems to be a way of saying to the mind you're going to be dreaming soon. Haruki Murakami Haruki Murakami With several awards to his name it's no surprise that Haruki Murakami's books have been translated in over 50 languages and have sold millions of copies outside of Japan. Being labeled as among the world's greatest living novelists by the Guardian Murakami rose to international fame after his novel Norwegian Word was released in 1987 A Tale of Lost Sexuality and Nostalgia. Murakami likes to add an element of surrealism to his stories like a giant Talking Frog in Super Frog Saves Tokyo, and Fish Falling from the Sky in Kafka. On the Shore By the end of his books the protagonist often reaches a more stable place of equilibrium and normality you have to go through the darkness to get to the light. He said in an interview with the Guardian. His intense routine perhaps mirrors this philosophy which is said to be challenging for Murakami but ultimately helps him to produce his best work he wakes at 4 a.m. writes for 4 to 6 hours then goes on a 10 kilometer run or a 1500 meter swim sometimes both he believes if he is physically and mentally strong then his writing will be strong. From Murakami writing a novel is an Opportunity to push himself writing a long novel is like survival training. Physical strength is as necessary as artistic sensitivity. He says that the repetition of his routine lulls his mind into the right state for productivity. The repetition itself becomes the important thing I mesmerize myself to reach a deeper state of mind. John Steinbeck John Steinbeck. While studying at Stanford University on and off from 1920 Steinbeck worked manual labor jobs and dropped out without finishing his degree. He then moved to New York to try and make it as a freelance writer and worked in construction to support himself. Having been unsuccessful Steinbeck moved back to California and worked as a caretaker on Lake Tahoe while continuing his writing. 
by drawing from his wealth of experiences Steinbeck was eventually able to produce some highly successful novels such as Of Mice and Men and Grace. Of Wrath the latter won him the Pulitzer Prize. Dredging up to the light are dark and dangerous dreams for the purpose of improvement is the duty of a writer. In the last decade of his life Steinbeck gave us some insight into how he practiced dredging up to the light in a letter to his friend Robert Wollstone he encourages Wollstone to forget about writing a book in its entirety and just focus on one page at a time lose track of the 400 pages and write just one page. He said by breaking our work down into small manageable chunks we avoid being overwhelmed and as a result give creativity a chance to flourish. He warns his friend to be aware of a scene that becomes too dear to you quite. Often this can be our ego's way of wanting to show off he noticed that these dearest scenes were likely difficult to fit into his stories. Another sign to aquarium you may find that the reason it gave trouble is because he didn't belong there.